Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been so lost and I apologize for that. Um, I haven't been updating my videos. I mean, believe it or not, I have been doing videos, but I haven't been uploading them because I feel like they're all the same. Like, I'm talking about the same topic and I don't want to bore you guys like with nonsense. So basically, um, this video is to let you know my changes so far. I am seven months post-op VSG surgery, for those of you who don't know me. And I was, basically, I, I couldn't upload because I was in a huge stall. And when I mean huge, I mean since July, I stopped losing weight. Like, that's it, all of a sudden. I was so worried that my body just got used to where my weight was and you know I just you know I just said I'm not even gonna bother I'm not even gonna you know hassle or make a big deal out of it I'm just gonna you know embrace what I've lost so far which you know it was 50 pounds so it wasn't like it's terrible um, but obviously you want to lose a lot of weight um, and supposedly in the first six months is when you lose the most weight. So I was kind of discouraged. I was, you know, I was feeling disappointed at myself. And I was like in a little bad spot. Um, basically, it's like, you know, when you, I don't know if you guys, if you ladies have tried to get pregnant before. And you try, try, try so hard. And you don't get pregnant. And once you stop thinking about it, boom. Boom you get pregnant it's the same thing it's all here it's on your brain once I stopped thinking about oh my god I haven't lost a pound once I lost weighing myself uh, stopped weighing myself once I just got out of that stuff out of my head I was worrying about other things um, BAM I lost I started losing weight all of a sudden and guys it's incredible like I'm losing slowly but surely um, basically, like I said, I was in a stall. I started, my, my highest weight was 233. Um, I had surgery April 17th, 2018. So this year. Um, and today is November 26th. So I'm seven months post-op and a little bit. Um, so, and right now my current weight is 177. 177! I thought I was never gonna get out of the 180s. I stalled at 187, 187, 188, 187, 188. Like, it was horrible. I wouldn't lose not even one pound. And all of a sudden, bam. Um, I started counting my calories in my Bariotastic app. Um, and I started like inputting everything that I would eat. And I lost about four pounds when I started monitoring it. Um, I got my macros, um, like, if you guys don't know what that is, it's what you're supposed to have, like your calories, your sugars, your certain numbers. I got it from somebody online. If you guys want, I can give you the info. They're very, very good. It's a support group, um, but they have, like, specialized people. They're not nutritionists, but they specialize in that. Like, they help a lot of people figure out their macros and they helped me um, my personal macros were 950 calories a day um, 20 grams of sugar 20 grams of carbs and that the sugars is not really a number that they gave me that's something that I just came up with because everything has sugar in it um, like literally everything but basically you cannot bypass the added sugar by 50 by 20 grams so, um, again, 950 calories, 20 grams of carbs was my maximum. For some reason, I always bypassed a little bit the carbs, like by 8, by 6, by 7. And I was like super low on calories. For example, I would consume 500 calories and 27 grams of, of carbs. And then I would eat healthy, but still, like, it doesn't 
But I guess it's like something mentally that you have and you're like, oh my God, I can't bypass this. So like I, you know, mostly what I ate were like pickles. Pickles have like five calories only and they're good. Like it's a good snack. Pickles or cucumbers. Um, I had a shake in the morning, a premier protein shake. I had the, the protein cookies like for, for lunch. Like basically I wasn't eating as much carbs and I wasn't craving as much carbs. Crazy, huh? Um, I felt like my restriction was super, like it was there. Like I would eat and then, oh, I would get full. Like, and I still have it. Like my restriction is where it's supposed to be. And I'm super happy. Um, so yeah, that was like the, the change that I made. Guys, monitor your calories. It's super cool. Like just make up a number if you don't want to go with the, with these people or, or whatever. Just go by what your surgeon says. Usually they say most of them, you know, they're all different. They say 1,200 calories or 1,100 calories. Go by what they say and do it, monitor it, and you're going to see that it's going to work. You know, just change. Thanksgiving. Oh, my God. I ate everything. Literally, I ate everything. And then all these days that I've been home, today's my first day back at work. I ate pizza, I ate junk food, like I haven't stopped eating, literally, obviously with restriction. And I'm losing weight, like I, I figured, oh my God, I'm gonna gain weight now, it's gonna go back, I'm gonna go up to the 180s again. Guys, I'm 177, I just weighed myself today and I lost a pound, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Um, Something that did happen was I caught a little stomach virus. I wasn't throwing up though, but I did have diarrhea, like a lot of diarrhea. And it lasted like two days. And in those two days, I lost like five pounds. So that helped. Don't get sick now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that helped. I figured I was gonna gain it back because once you lose, when you lose weight like that, like when you get sick, it's like water weight. Um, but I gained like two or three pounds back and then I just kept losing. Um, you know, basically my changes is that something that I have noticed is I've been having a little bit of insomnia. I'm not able to sleep a lot and I don't know. I mean, I, in my support groups, I think that that's very common. I do not know the reason, but if somebody knows, please let me know why or what I can do. Um, to try and sleep because I do have a toddler. He does not sleep through the night yet. He is two years old and he wakes up like three or four times. So, you know, with my baby and not being able to sleep, I don't sleep. I basically get like three or four, I don't know, hours of sleep a night, like good sleep. Um, and obviously that's not good because you need to rest, um, to lose weight as well. <clears throat> So I think that that's very common. I, I see a lot of people like um, complaining about the same issue and I wanna know why, like doctors or nurses or somebody who's gone through that and asked for their doctor, I wanna know why. Um, I have a doctor's appointment this Thursday and I am excited because last time I saw her, I was 188. It was about four weeks ago, okay? Uh, yeah, about four, yeah, four weeks ago. And she said, I want to see you in three to four weeks because I want to make sure that you break the stall. And she gave me a few tips. I saw my nutritionist and I was super excited because I changed, like they had given me a new, another nutritionist, um, a different one from my pre-op. And I was upset because I really liked my old nutritionist. And I went to one of their appointments and she just canceled on me. Like I was feeling, I was in a bad place because obviously I was in the stall since July and I really wanted to talk to her. And the lady just said, oh no, I can't see you today after waiting 45 minutes in the lobby. So I was super upset and I said, you know what? Change me back to the first nutritionist I had. Because first of all, you guys changed me without letting me know and I accepted that. But this is unacceptable, you know, a professional canceling your appointments. And it wasn't the first time. She's canceled on me a few times. So basically, you know, I asked to see my old nutritionist and they changed me to her. I had to wait like two weeks to see her, but I was super excited when I saw her. When she saw me, she's like, girl, you look great. You don't even have to lose any more weight. But obviously I do want to lose weight because 
I want a healthy BMI. I'm still overweight with my BMI. So I want to be, you know, healthy. Um, my goal number, like the goal weight is 150. But, you know, I feel comfortable where I'm at now. I am a size 10, 12, depending on the brand. Um, and I can even fit into like a medium shirt and medium, um, you know, depending on the clothing. But I feel good. Um, my husband says I don't need to lose any more weight. Um, I do have to do a lot of toning. I haven't been doing exercise at all. Um, and I do feel like flappy. My stomach is okay. Uh, I'm going to see if I can add some pictures so you guys can see where I'm at basically because I'm always driving when I do my videos. Um, I'm going to do some before and after pictures and upload them and I'm going to do some pictures from now, from the present. So you can see like the, the skin and how it's, I really don't have a lot of loose skin, but it's like flappy. It's like not hard so it's not toned so i do that's that's my goal like i need to start exercising for my arms for my legs and obviously my stomach um but like i said i don't look horrible like um i really 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 want to have plastic surgery my husband doesn't want me to because he wants another baby um but i convinced him and i said you know what okay we can have another baby but I'm getting my plastics after I want to do my tummy I want to I really really want to do my arms like the smart lipo on my arms I found a doctor in Tampa Florida and I'm willing to drive and stay over there for my arms it's it's basically non-invasive um and it's it's a fast procedure you know you can go back to work the next day so basically um I convinced him and he said yes but do I look terrible? No, I don't. Obviously, clothes covers everything. But I just want to feel good about myself. And when I put some clothes on, oh, my lower my lower stomach is like there. You know, I just want to get rid of those, you know, ugly places that I hate. Um, guys, I've lost my boobs. I am really not a boob person. Like, I've always had small breasts. But right now, they're gone. I'm able to fit into a Victoria's Secret um, bra, thank God for them, because I really don't have boobs. Like, it's horrible. I look like a little boy. <laughs> like a little fat boy when they have, like, little boobs. That's what I look like, literally. I told my husband yesterday, what is this? Look at this. Do you think this is... And then he's like, I love them like that. And I'm like, yeah, sure you do. So, yeah, that's something that I really always wanted to do for myself like small implants not huge implants but i've always wanted like to give them a shape because they really don't have a shape they're all like and they're not like up to my belly button because i don't have boobs they're very small okay um my butt let's talk about my butt i have lost 50 percent of my butt um i've always had a big butt right now it's saggy <laughs> uh, Ugh, I don't even want to talk about my butt anymore. It's disappointing. Um, again, I figure that with squats and good exercise, it can go back to normal. Not as big as it was, but at least not as saggy as it is now. I'm going to try and put the pictures in so you guys can see and give me your opinions, please. And give me your comments. Um, uh, right now, I'm going to close this video up because I don't want to bore you guys. I've... I've spoken too much um i'm glad to be back and if you guys have an idea in a video or want to know anything about this journey you can go and ask uh, ahead and ask me and i would be happy to create a video like if you wanted me to do another um what i eat in a day video or what i take for work snacks and things like that just comment down below and i'll be happy to um i'm gonna try to be doing at least once every two weeks um one video posted up and you know just random things uh, fun things um like for example the the pickup that i made in my closet uh, my shoes are not fitting everything is just big <laughs> it's funny um so please comment down below let me know if you um are new it, please subscribe um 
If you have any questions about the beginning of my journey and where I'm at now, again, please go ahead and ask. Um, thanks for watching, you guys, and I'm sorry for the really long video. Bye. Have a nice day.